Good afternoon, everyone. We're so excited to be here. We've got a couple minutes before we get started. Um, my name is Julie Escobar, and I am here with recruiting coach Judy Ledour and uh, exact recruiter team specialist uh, Shannon McGee. So we're super excited to, to have you here. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Judy. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Um, so we'll give it a couple of minutes. If you guys want to use that that chat to tell us where you're from or what, what you hope to get out of today, that's cool. We are going to use that Q&A panel as well. If you have any questions uh, throughout today's webinar, um, feel free to drop it in that Q&A section and we'll get to as many as we can at the end. We've got a lot to cover. I've got a fully packed hour. Um, we're going we're, we're gonna to kind of tag team here a little bit, right, Judy and Shannon? Exactly. So I think that's going to be fun. It will be fun. We'll give it a, another minute or two and then we'll get rocking and rolling and we can hit record. Um, and Shannon, I think we are, you're gonna make this available on your site and you'll give us a copy that we can embed on our blog as well. You bet, we'll have the recording up for everybody to find later. That Great. Sounds, I know it's super fun to see how long that can take to render. <laughs> <laughs> so, awesome sauce. So welcome, welcome. Let's see what time do we have, 1.58. You want to wait two minutes? Or we want to just dive in. What do you ladies think? Well, let's wait two minutes. What do you think? Yeah, we've got a couple people joining us. Hi, Dave from Minnesota. Thanks for joining us. And we've got Joanne from Montreal. Bonjour. Bonjour. Let's see who else. Yeah, use that Q&A panel. Say hello to your fellow brokers and recruiters. Uh, if you guys have anything specific that that's weighing on you in, in terms of recruiting, you can pop that in there too. We'll try to get to that. Hi, Denny from Amherstburg. Where is Amherstburg? I'm curious. Now you're going to have to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know? No, we're right. all curious. Inquiring minds. I, I thought I heard a lot of them, but I've never heard of Amherst. Oh, at the mouth of the Detroit River. All right, see? Nice. And Michigander, you can hold your hand up and tell us where, you know, where it's supposed to be, right? I love it. Love it, love it. All right, let's do this. Let's get rocking and rolling. We have got a lot to cover today. Um, so good afternoon, everyone, and uh, all our brokers and our recruiters and managers that are on the line. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we are super excited to share our our webinar experience with Shannon McGee from Exact Recruiter and re real estate recruiting coach Judy Ledour. Uh, today we're going to start. Um, let me actually go back one. One of the things that we are asked most uh at the profitable recruiter and judy i know you're asked most when you're out and about in the world of recruiting is what do we use for a crm and for years we were stymied on that question um until we found the lovely shannon and and her organization exact recruiter which really hit all the bells and whistles for us it definitely was what we were looking for in a a crm partner um they are specific to real estate recruiting not just real estate not just a crm but it's a real estate crm for recruiters so it's it's very different and it, it really like i said hits all those bells and whistles that judy you i know you and i have been looking for for years right uh, but to kick us off today we really wanted judy to be on the line so that she can really share with us what's going on in the marketplace and and how we can really dive in and be super effective in our recruiting in management and retention. Retention is, is just as important as recruiting, but how we can really, really be effective as managers and as recruiters as we slide into what is soon to be the second half of the year. So, um, Judy, I'm gonna let you take it away. Thank you, Julie, and thank you, Shannon, for being with us here today. And uh, Julie, uh, you're exactly right. Uh, every single person that I encounter, you know, for the most part says, which CRM should I use for recruiting? And I look at a CRM as kind of the foundation, one of the foundations to your, your entire program, something that is very definitely going to help you, but it's only one uh, in many, many moving parts. There's a lot of moving parts when it comes to recruiting and having a program that's going to generate the results that you want. Um, 
I was sharing with Shannon and Julia, a, kind of a cute story of a, a gentleman who became a client. His name was Johnny's from New York. And uh, several years ago, he had signed up for our profitable recruiting program and he was sending emails out to, to the agents for a few months. And I, I get a call one day and he, he asked for Judy Lador and said, hey, listen, this program doesn't work. And I said, gosh, I'm sorry, you know, like, uh, why do you say that? He goes, well, I've been sending out these emails for three or four months now, no one's joined. And my next question was, well, what else are you doing? And he said, well, nothing, because I signed up for your program because I need recruits. And uh, so John became a client. He actually did learn all the components to an effective recruiting program, not only filled up that office, but he opened up a second office in New York, filled that up. And, um, and, and he was so glad. He always would say to me, I'm so glad I called that day to cancel your program. <laughs> <laughs> because, well, it's not working because no one's joining um uh, and, and so the bottom line is there are a lot of things that you have to be doing and, and the first thing really is just to start with the right group of agents who are a really good fit for your company uh, one of the things i always ask brokers when i'm working with them is what is it that you do really well what are you known for i mean for some brokers they're great at coaching people up and uh and and so then we can look for a group of agents that will be a great fit for that company you know maybe they have um uh, you know, great luxury prop uh, property. Maybe they're great for teams. Um, maybe they're great for training new agents. Whatever it is, when you can identify what it is that you do really well, then you can actually target the agents that are going to be the best fit for your company. And uh, versus, you know, sometimes people just, you know, they 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 go and, and they take a hundred names out of anywhere and they just say, okay, here's my hundred names to to start with. But your results are never going to be as good if you just randomly pick agents. So definitely make sure that they're gonna be a good fit for your company, your culture, and what you have to offer. Um, after that, you gotta put them into the CRM, and that's why I say it's one of your foundation systems. Uh, I love Exact Recruiter because it is specific to recruiting. There are only two or three uh, CRMs that I'm aware of in, in the entire marketplace that um, actually have that specific recruiting component in it. And, and so even though you can use anything, what we found is that when you have a recruiting specific CRM, it's gonna be easier for you. The content that's loaded in there is specific to recruiting. Um, it's easy to use. That's what I love best about it, Shannon. Uh, from the beginning, um, I've just determined that if brokers can't use it easily, uh, then they're not gonna use it at all. And then they're gonna revert back to an Excel spreadsheet you know, or, or, you know, index yep. code. Yes. And, and uh, for those listening, uh, an Excel spreadsheet is not a CRM. And, uh, uh, you know, you know, sometimes people say, well, I just write all my notes in, in a notebook. Well, that's fine. But, you know, part of what a CRM does is it makes it easy and efficient for you to do your marketing, uh, to do your follow-up, to know when you should be talking to someone next, to put your notes in, to upload the photographs there's just so many things that that the right crm does uh, to make your job easier long term so it's a little bit of a work getting started but categories are going to really make your overall recruiting program a lot more effective so here's categories such as co-op agents as a company if you go if you keep track of everyone that you have a transaction with they've already had a positive interaction with someone in your company and that's a little bit more of a what we call warm lead for you. If they've attended social functions, if they've attended educational functions that you've hosted that showcased your company, again, I would have those into a certain category. And, and here's why. If, if I'm going to hold a social function in July, we'll just say maybe by July we can hold one. And I've got a category that says social functions. And in the past, I've got 67 agents who have attended our social functions. Then I hit that little button and I and I send something out and I call those agents first because they've attended social functions in the past, more likely to do it again. So there's a lot of different things that you can do as far as target marketing. You can target rookie agents, you can target teams, you can target luxury agents. You just simply need categories for everything that you wanna do. And, and so the CRM is what's gonna put consistency into your recruiting. And when it's specific to recruiting, when it's a recruiting CRM, uh, that's going to give you your optimum results. So uh, really important component there. Number three, as I said, CRMs make marketing easier. I have discovered that most brokers are a lot like agents when it comes to marketing. Um, they know they need to. They know they should. They definitely plan on doing it. They just don't get around to doing it as often as they should. 
I see Julie nodding her head, Jess and Janet. Um, you know, we're salespeople. Even as brokers, and even as brokers, we're still salespeople at heart. We like being face to face with someone. We don't like the daunting task of having to market. And that's the cool thing about um, the about Exact Recruiter is that it is already loaded with a lot of content for you. You can automate it. It's just going out when it's supposed to without you having to remember it. And again, most brokers tell their agents that's what you should, what the agents should be doing. So this gives the broker the tool to do what uh, they need to be doing as well. Now, there are um, your marketing campaign is a pretty complex thing as well. So you definitely, it's more than just sending out hard copy pieces or emails. You should have a lot of content on your social media platforms, a lot of videos going out. Video is definitely the number one thing to connect with agents and get the message out. But in addition to that, step number four, is um <laughs> i'm gonna actually before we, we we move to step number four i just wanted to say a couple things on this if that's okay judy sure yes right um so when you're selecting that 100 agents a lot of you might be scratching your heads like where do i even start i love love what judy teaches in her in her coaching and that is um one of the best ways to get started is go to your current team of agents mm -hmm. and have them write down at least one name of somebody that they've co-broked or two names of somebody they've co-broked with that they've had an amazing experience with that they feel might be a good fit for the com uh, the company so now you have a reason to call them and compliment that person and tell them you know oh you know julie smith said you you know you were just amazing to work with so professional so it's a great it's another way to warm that call as you said earlier so that's a great place i think to start with um and when you're trying to pick that first 100 agents. Another great place to start is to look for agents that are on the rise in your market and agents that are on the fall. In other words, their production is going up or their production might be going down because those are the people that are kind of on the move and those are the people that probably have questions in their mind. So that would be a good way to um, segment some agents in your market while you're choosing that 100. So that's just my input on that one. And in terms of the CRM and putting a CRM in place, Shannon, I love to tell brokers that it's so much better to systemize than it is to memorize because absolutely so many of us think okay i'm going to get to that and i make a note here and i make a note there well those notes never get put into one one bucket and part of having a crm is really putting all those notes all of your marketing effort everything that you're you're going to be doing really your your path forward in terms of uh your marketing plan or recruiting plan is all in one space and some of that gets systemized and automated for you so it really there's a little work on the front end but ultimately it's going to save you so much time and it's going to be a relief for you because you know those things are going to be happening automatically so that's my two cents <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Those are great points. And you're right. Sometimes I, I just I go through uh, getting that list together too quickly. So I appreciate you're giving them some great ideas there. Um, this just kind of continues that marketing component that we were just talking about as far as using hard copy things, emails, videos, social media. Um, and, and this is probably the most important thing with regard to marketing and why marketing is important. Every marketing campaign actually has to do three things. Now, again, this is the same things that an agent's campaign has to do. It has to educate the agents in the marketplace place as to what you have to offer and why you're going to be the best solution for them. It also has to create curiosity so that they want to know more. That's what makes it easier for you to secure those interviews, which I know are really challenging right now. And, um, and, and the best way to create curiosity is to show results. And you also have to stay positioned at all times. Uh, so let me quickly let you know, if you're an agent, one of your agents, I would be telling them you have to educate people as to what you do and 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 what the results are and create that curiosity for them to want to know more about having you as your agent as a broker here's what that looks like marketing campaigns educate so that's called take the things that you do best and create marketing campaigns so at least once a month hit them with something that you're doing really well today with technology and all the new tools that are out it's easier than ever to show value for what you bring to the table now, creating curiosity with results, that might be an agent testimonial that has moved to your company and, and wants to share those results. It could be the per person production of the agents on your team compared to other companies in the marketplace, show that your overall team is more productive. Um, it could be a training program or a marketing program that shows those results. And um, 
and later on this year, I'm going to be really excited to continue to watch what's happening with artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence has entered the world of real estate and the numbers that we're seeing are incredible with regard to how artificial intelligence can be used with your database uh, to dramatically increase income. So those results that agents can have for your tools, systems, support, very important. And the next thing is staying positioned at all times. If you're an agent, you might stay positioned with calendars, magnets, newsletters, things that are not designed on a regular basis to keep saying, list with me, list with me, list with me, but to add value uh, so that they do read the content. And, and the same is true for brokers. So two ways you stay positioned at all times. One is through social media interaction. Because when you're just commenting on their, their posts and sharing things, it's not saying, hey, will you come and join our team? But it's like, hey, you know, congratulations on whatever's going on in their life. Um, another great way to stay positioned, and, and I was approached by one of my clients years ago to create this for brokers, is by putting something that is um, inspirational, motivational, and positioning in front of them at all times. And that's our profitable recruiting uh, profitable recruiter program. Um, we have a lot of moving components in the platform. Uh, the popular pro product within the platform is without a doubt the emails that we write that are sent out to agents on a weekly basis. They are intentionally written to just be feel-good emails. Everything is about motivation and inspiration. Uh, it starts their Monday off on a good note. Brokers tell us that the agents love getting those emails, and that's the goal is that if they're getting something from you, the broker, that they make sure they read every Monday and it makes them feel good, then right there you're building the relationship through something that you're providing to them to get their day off to a great start. But there's two more elements to it because that agent can then share that with all of their clients and customers, staying positioned in front of all their clients and customers, and your recruits who are receiving this weekly email can put it in front of their clients and customers and actually make money from one of your tools before they actually come to work with you. So we call it a three-tiered platform. It really accomplishes three things. Average broker will actually recruit between five and eight, eight agents a year by staying positioned every week, just like the average agent will pick up between five and eight transactions a year. So staying positioned just simply means how do you put something comfortably in front of them at all times? Um, and that is a great way to do it. Number five. And I'll let uh, Julie, I'll let you jump in here after six this time. I won't go forward. <laughs> uh, no. Number five. Um, She's taking notes, so she knows I'm going to. That's right. <laughs> number six um, is basically just call or text or anything that allows you to reach out and ask the agent if they're ready to meet. Um, so you do have to make those contacts. And um, I know that making calls is, is the thing that most brokers do not like, but someone has to be calling. And if it's not going to be you, it has to be delegated out to someone because um, similar story with regard to marketing. I had a company that uh, we had trained a recruiter for them and they had the most incredible, impressive marketing campaign going out every two weeks. I was so impressed with it. And a year later, they said, you know, we're just, can you take a look at what we're doing? Because we haven't recruited anyone. And I, I was like, wow, like you have such an impressive marketing campaign. So my first question was, how often are you in contact with them? Uh, and the response was, we haven't got to that partner process yet. We've just really been sending stuff to them. So again, you can send the world's best stuff, right, Julie? You can send the world's best stuff if you never reach out to say, hey, we'd like to set up a meeting with you. You're just not going to be in front of any agents. Julie, what would you like to add to that? Phew. Um, <laughs> it, it makes it, I struggle with that. You know, really, there's when you're marketing, whether you're a real estate agent, whether you're a real estate broker, you really have to have, I'm going to, I'm going to start with the with number six and work my way back up but you really have to have a send call see um process right so if you're sending something of value right every week like with the the monday motivation if you're sending something then you're going to want to call you're going to want to follow up or if you're using lumpy letters like we do or, or a recruiting letter or you're using one of the many many tools that shannon's going to share with you that's already in the crm um that's the first step is the send, but you've got to call, you've got to, you know, follow up. And the C part is you maybe see them socially if you're in an area that's opened up and you're, you see it, a broker is open or um, an event, you know, when, once that's all happening in the world together, or you're seeing them via a Zoom cocktail hour or a Zoom event, you know, making sure that you send call C, that's so important um, for you to really stay top of mind. Um, go back to number five, yes. 
I, I can't say this enough that all of your marketing, all of it, it's that staying top of mind, that staying um, positioned is true, not just of your recruits, right? Not just recruit true of your prospects. If you're not sending that same feel good inspiration you know, to your current team of agents, then your current team is going to be open for a surprise you know, from, from right. other brokers that may be doing that, right? So it's super important that whatever love that you're sending out to prospects, that your agents that are already part of your team are feeling that love as well. That's so vital. Um, and then I'm gonna go back to number four where you're talking about staying positioned in socially. One of my favorite, favorite tips for brokers and recruiters is to take five to 10. Once you make that list, and we talked about making that list of 100, once you do that, um, making sure you take five or 10 minutes every morning to go through and um, go on LinkedIn and give that person a review. And don't copy and paste and make it the same thing for, for every agent, but really take the time, whatever. So say Shannon said, oh, I had a great experience with Judy on a co-broke and that she was super professional. Well, I'm gonna take that information and I'm gonna write that in a LinkedIn review. You're almost guaranteed that their own broker has probably not done that for them. Um, so that's really gonna set you miles ahead. And it just takes five, 10 minutes a day, take a couple names off that list, go into LinkedIn and, and give them some love. Does that make sense? Yeah, great. Nice idea. Awesome. Yay. Yeah. So everything, the first six steps here basically are what we call your entire foundation platform. It's find the right agents, collect the data, put it in a CRM, implement a multi-step marketing campaign, stay positioned, make your phone calls to secure your appointments. So everything there is really, really important to make sure that you are face-to-face -face with agents. Number seven is once you book that appointment is to do the research on any agent that agrees to meet with you. Anyone that, that has worked with me knows that I'm a huge, huge believer in um, behavior, understanding the behavior pattern of who I'm gonna be meeting with uh, because half the world bases their decisions on logic and facts and the other half the world bases their decisions on how they feel. And um, you know, if you are sitting in front of an emotional agent, actually in our industry, 70 to 80 percent of agents base their decisions on how they feel about you and and that presentation uh not money okay so only 10 to 20 percent of the people are basing it on monday and, and that's a huge mistake that brokers do is they've got the same presentation for every agent um, it's based on what the broker believes the agent should find important uh, but they failed to do the research on the agent. So doing research tells you what are the areas of expertise that the agent has. Wow, how exciting when it matches up with something that you're doing. Um, are they an emotional decision maker? What sort of company are they coming from? What's the production been like the last few years? Um, just all of those things will give you real insight to that agent so that that interview process can be customized. Um, typically, it should be 15 to 30 minutes of research. I always Google the agent. I looked at their LinkedIn profile, looked at Facebook profiles, and um, and I just think like what's going to be important to this specific behavior pattern. Or in some cases, let's say they're coming from a company that um, there's a lot of different business models out there. Some basically say, look, we'll give you all the money. We're not going to like you know supply you with any tools and support. We'll let you figure that out on your own. And then other companies have a lot of tools and support. And then we got ones kind of right in the middle. So if, if I'm a company that, that provides a lot of tools, a lot of support, and I'm bringing in an agent from a company that really lacks anything in the way of tools and support, then I'm going to be going back and um, uh, going back at, into that company and, and thinking, okay, what is it that the agent might need based on where they're coming from? And so again, preparing for my interview is going to allow me to base the interview on what I know about the research that I learned on that agent. Um, which will give me a better interview process. And number eight, which says, you know, the, your interview skills should always be obviously customized to your company, but also customized to every agent that you're you're meeting with. And, uh, you know, we spend a day or two just helping brokers develop those interview skills. We develop, we start backwards. So, you know, if you're looking to say, okay, well, what's, how do I develop my interview skills? You start with what really sets you apart. What do you do better than anybody else? And, and create visuals for each of those tools. It's kind of like your toolbox. And then create customized questions that point to your tools. So if marketing is one of your hot buttons, then we're gonna ask a question with regard to the type of marketing support that they have. 
Uh, what are they doing in the way of marketing? What would they like to do in the way of marketing? If you've got a huge tech platform and there's a lot of things that, that, um, that you can do to take stuff off their plate utilizing technology, then we're going to ask, what is your company doing to take things off your plate through the use of technology? What, what would you like to see taken off the plate? Because everything that I ask is basically pointing to what I have to offer. And so if, if I take, if, I, if, if the interview is customized to the agent and the presentation is customized to their behavior, you're always going to get the absolute best outcome. And then, of course, number nine, people laugh when I say you got to ask them to join. However, our research shows that more than 50% of brokers at the end of an interview that went well do not ask the agent to join. Now, <laughs> and how do I know that? Because first off, I sit in a lot of the interviews. I also have a lot of interviews that are recorded for me to listen to from brokers that say, gosh, Judy, I don't know. I think I'm following the process, but they didn't join. And, and so then I go, well, you know, what, what should I do differently, Judy? And, and then I love when I go, well, you could have asked them to join. That could have helped. And, and, and here's the funny thing is that a lot of brokers think they did. So they're like, oh, no, I'm sure I did. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, you didn't. Uh, so you got to the end and you said, so what do you think? And what do you think actually has been proven to prompt the response on the other end of, well, I think I got to think about it, right? Uh, so that's like the worst thing you could do. I have other brokers that are like, well, so should we get together again? Hey, should I give you a call? Okay. So you wouldn't do that in a listing presentation. Well, you certainly shouldn't do it in a recruiting presentation, but again, you have to look for the sale to take place. So my signature close, as everyone knows, is if it went great and I've gone through the entire process, I am going to reach my hand out and say, she and I'd love to have you join my team. And I'm going to smile <laughs> and I'm going to hold that hand out until Shannon grabs it or absolutely indicate she is no longer going to grab it. Now, it might take 30 seconds. You might think 30 seconds isn't long, but you try holding your hand up to someone who's just staring straight at you for 30 seconds and try to keep your smile on your face. You know, sometimes it's like, come on. <laughs> and, and so basically what she and would be doing is just thinking, I don't know, I don't know, what do I think? Sometimes they grab it right away. Sometimes they're like, you know, I don't know. Okay, well, listen, what's happening right now? What's going on right now? What can we talk about? Because maybe there's some objection strategies there, but if you, but you have to ask them to join. Another great way to do it right now, this is our COVID, uh, our COVID close, is just to say, hey, you know what? Let's do it. Same thing. Recruits will look back and go, okay. Same as <laughs> a handshake. But use action to like say, okay, let's, let's start working together. And, and obviously, there's a transition process and things that are in place. But, but I think if you can get these nine steps down, you're definitely going to, to be happy with the results that you're going to see. I'm um, thinking, there, Julie. Would you like to talk about before we talk about what kind of what's changed? Uh, yeah, I th I think um I think you hit the nail on the head. I think knowing knowing your your market, your your list, and who those people are, and knowing yourself, what's your unique sales proposition, what does your company bring to the table that differentiates your stuff in the market. I think that's so important. Um, and just like we just like we tell agents to do is develop those relationships. That's never been more important than it is right now. Um, like you say, we're a rating society, you know, agents are checking you out, whether you think they yeah. are or they're not. So one, be mindful of what you put on social media and mindful of what you say uh, uh, in open forums because people are checking you out. Uh, you know, we, th there's not any secrets anymore in, in, with the internet world. Um, so just be careful about that, but really know yourself, know your value, know your company's value, know the value of the people that you're trying to bring on board. Yeah, and, and that has, that is the big change, uh, Julie and Shannon, that, that's happened in the world of recruiting and in the world of sales. If we look at the statistics for the last three years, the NIR, um, National Association of Realtors, conducts surveys, and it shows that you know between 83 and 87% of buyers and sellers are choosing an agent that they either did business with before or, or um, through a, a referral or a friend or relative. So basically, buyers and sellers are asking people, who should I list my house with? Who should I buy a home through? And 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 uh, that is because we're kind of trained as a society never to do anything without checking those ratings. What's the experience that others have had? In the last two years, I've seen that really start to play out in the world of recruiting. Uh, when those agents have a relationship with you, which means that they trust you even prior to sitting down with you, they know the agents in your office, they, they know the reputation of your company and what it stands for, all of those things now play a much bigger role in the world of recruiting. And so the message of brokers is you need to spend more time getting to know the agents in your marketplace, 
on developing the relationships with the ones that you have. Okay. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. On Julie, that maybe? note, I think yeah. uh, it's time to turn this over to our, the lovely Shannon to share <laughs> what share this amazing uh, exact recruiting platform. Do you need my help in that, Shannon, or you got it? I think I've got it. Does everybody see my screen now? I think. Oh. Sure do, yay! I it works. Technology. Yeah, technology. <laughs> yeah. So I love all of all of the the things that uh, that Judy, you're bringing to just engaging agents and then helping brokers in putting together a process to actually then engage those agents. And I love that you mentioned CRM, like you know, I think it's number two um, on your <laughs> list because the CRM really is the core that drives that. We tell agents the same thing, right? It's like that that key business tool. If you don't have everything all in one place, how can you possibly manage all the different steps that need to be taken? So with the exact recruiter CRM, what we're trying to help you do is exactly what Judy's talking about is, is generate and convert those potential agents to join your company into new hires by staying top of mind and just being organized in that process. So you're hiring more agents that want to join your brokerage and you're hiring the right agents. So you're also then increasing your retention over time. Um, Judy, you mentioned there's only a couple real estate recruiting CRMs in the marketplace. Some of them are, I think there's probably more than a, than a couple, but like maybe a handful. And a lot of them are really data driven. Mm -hmm. And I think if you're hiring just based on data, you're probably not hiring the right agents. Would that be fair to say? That's true. And you're exactly right there. A lot more data driven versus relationship driven. Yeah. Yeah. And that that's, you know, that I think would be the main difference in, in exact recruiter is that the system really is set up to help build relationships, not just look at production and data and, you know, try to target the, the top performing agents. It is about helping brokers build relationships over time so that they're not just hiring to hire, they're hiring the right agents that are then going to stay and ultimately help them grow their business. So I'm going to jump right in to the system and give me one quick second to switch screens again here and, and show you guys some of the key tools and how easy it can be to systematize some of those marketing campaigns, systematize just your own personalized follow up. Um, I'm going to start actually with our monthly email newsletter and we write this for you. Exact Recruiter provides you with a monthly email newsletter. You set up your email branding. You can have your headshot in it, it can, whatever branding you want to upload. It greets the agent. And of course, you can be sending this to prospective agents as well as, as your current agents. It has a personal message that gives them some little indication about why you're sending them to this and why they should be thinking about talking to you. Um, or if you're sending it to your own agents, of course, customize that, you know, that you're just sending them business tips. And five articles of tips and best practices to help those agents in their business. So imagine being the agent on the other side of this and receiving these little business tips. Uh, Shannon, can I jump in for just a second? Yeah, please. Um, you brought up something really important and uh, brokers typically don't do this. So I just want to jump in and say that their photographs should be on those letters at the bottom. In fact, everything that goes out, if the broker's photograph is on it, it's been proven that the more times that the agent actually visually sees the broker's face, which is why video is working so well, the stronger the relationship becomes. So the agent actually gets to know the broker just through seeing their face on a consistent basis on marketing material. So I'm glad you, you mentioned that, and I, it's yeah. a really important thing, so thank you for letting me interject that. Yeah, no, appreciate that. Yeah, our example is a little more general here, but your signature and your email header are completely customizable. So set those up so that it does it does bring it back to a person. Um, even our email signatures here at Exact Contact, I've got my headshot in mine. It just creates that relationship before you've even actually had a conversation. Sometimes, yeah, um, yeah you know who you're you know who you're talking to, and especially in the last year where we spent a lot of time on Zoom or on the phone and not in front of people putting your face in front of people ahead of an actual conversation just again starts to help build that little bit of a relationship ahead of time. Um, so yeah, five articles, always little tips and best practices, things that agents might need to think about. Maybe they're not, but think about being an agent from another brokerage that's then reading this and going, Hey, 
Well, this broker sends out some really great information that's going to help me with my business. And then, of course, when you're sending it to your own agents, you're just continually helping them with these little tips and best practices. So you can customize it as much as you want to, but there's a ton of great content here. And I would say the majority of our, our brokers that are using this um, don't actually make a whole lot of customization to the articles because it's really well written copy, but they will customize this personal message to, again, create that positioning of why your brokerage and, and what your brokerage does differently or, or better um, in the market. Anything to add on that, Julia or Judy? Yeah. No, that's the, that's the monthly one. And we actually provide yeah. a, a profitable, are you gonna cover that the weekly? Yeah, I'm headed okay. there next. Yeah. yeah. So in addition, there are, as, as we're talking about marketing plans and, and Judy mentioned the weekly emails. So with the profitable recruiter, if you're connected with Judy and you get the exact recruiter platform through today's webinar or, or through your connection with your um, profitable recruiter membership, um, the program actually includes the weekly email campaigns built right into your CRM. So again, making it easy for you to do everything all in one place. You don't have to export a list and then choose who's on it, make sure it's updated every week. As long as your CRM is up to date, it's easy to send out a weekly email. So is this the, this is the most recent one, April? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've got your nice little April week, one, two, three, four, and I'll show you how to assign this and get it on the right dates. But the idea here is that you're sending this out so that it hits the agent's inbox every Monday with a little tidbit. Oh, why are you not loading? Julie, they're not loading. I swear they're in there. <laughs> I believe you. Let's try a different campaign. What's going on? I don't know. It might just be my computer. I hope it's my computer. They're not loading. I don't know. They're all in there. I believe you. <laughs> I just published them to my, my demo account yesterday, so that may be why. And they're beautiful. Right. Well, they're they are really beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they are beautiful. And this is a little embarrassing, but I'm going to, Julie, if you want to just talk about them for a second, I'm going to actually pull them up in another account. Sure, no problem. So um, our Monday morning emails have a couple of different components, and, and we actually saw all of our profitable work record. Uh, profitable recruiter members will get an email from us to you with it, and that's gonna include your broker tips. But what we put into Exact Recruiter and what we send that you can copy and paste um, is, it, it's beautiful, it's inspirational, it's top of mind. What it includes is um, an inspirational message. And then there's a, a piece that's kind of a something to think about. And then from there, there's, um, there's a call to action for the agent. So here, how do you take this message and put it into action this week? Oh, there's there one. they are. It's just not working in my account. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yep. I loaded them yesterday. I may have not hit the right button. I did not so, block you, I promise. In any case, <laughs> they look something like this. So as, as Julie said, they've got a great image. They've got a nice little message, tips, something motivational, and something that they should be thinking about just to set the tone for their week. And then agents so. can then take that information, or you as a broker can take that information and actually copy that that inspirational piece and put it on your blog. So, or you can take those words of wisdom and you can use that to to once a day. You can send that out during the week on your on your social media platform. So you can repurpose this content however you want. Yeah, yeah, and they're great. Like like Julie said, they've got great um, graphics, great tips, and there's a new set for every month. Um, and in addition, that they, it hits right at the right time. They get calls all the time from agents that say, you know, that's exactly what I needed to hear today. And it's just that that layered approach. So then if you if you consider every Monday morning, you're showing up with purpose um, and with thought leadership for, for agents. That's probably more than their own broker is doing. If you add in that little LinkedIn strategy, that's probably more than what their broker is doing. Um, then you combine some social media aspects to that, probably more than what their broker is doing. And then combine it, as Judy said way back in the beginning, make sure that you're following up. Hey, did you get the message this week? You know, my agents are telling me this, it, it really hit home. And I know this is something everybody's going through. So it's a reason to call people, but a reason to call people that's not, hey, do you want to come work for me? It's mm -hmm. it's a warm call. It, it makes it fun again. And brokers tell us 
you know, it actually makes recruiting fun again because they don't have to do all the thought. They they know we we every week we send um we send you a recruiting challenge and a retention challenge. So here's how you take this week, just we tell the agents, here's how you take this week's message and put it into action. We're gonna tell you as the broker manager, here's how you take this week's message and put it into action from a recruiting standpoint and from a retention standpoint. So at least every Monday you're like, Phew, I know what I'm doing this week, you know, and it, that feels good, right? <laughs> That's great. Yeah, and we've made it super easy just to get at it all in one place. So if you're doing the Profitable Recruiter program and you're doing the exact recruiter as your CRM, then it just makes it seamless, easy to organize it, easy to uh, to assign it. And I have to just quickly refresh my login here because I logged into that other account. Bear with me for just one second and I'll get back to a little bit more of the use of the system and how easy it is to actually assign that campaign. So you know, you're going to choose whether you're assigning it to a certain subgroup within your database. Um, you can assign it to just individual contacts. Most commonly, you're going to say, I'm going to send this out to everybody. That's how I want to do it. And I'm actually just going to show, show you what the, uh, the search functionality looks like in the system. So I just click this little search button here at the top of my contact list. And you can search by contact status, which would be things like your prospects or your current um, agents. You can search by different contact groups, depending on how you've categorized your contacts, even by the date they were added or original source. For today, I'm just gonna display my entire list within my little database here. I've got 93 agents that I'm either already have working with us or we are targeting. And I once I check off one or more or everybody in this list, I can now mass assign one of those activity plans. And that would be the easiest way to say everybody is going to get these Monday, April newsletters. And I'm going to make sure that it's the Monday. I would simply choose the first Monday of every week and then mass assign it. So pretty straightforward to, oops, that's a jump me forward to May. Go away. There we go. So you get the idea is you would adjust it so that it goes out on Monday. You assign the plan and then every week this is going to be delivered to everybody's inbox on the monday i would so, suggest that early in the morning so i would i would send those out um between seven and eight seven and eight thirty um and let that go to to your whole list and really an email newsletter is is, a, is meant to be a broad spectrum touch point you know you can get if you did lumpy letters or something like that that's going to be a, a like a, a second tier so you're it, there's all kinds of tiers, right? When you're recruiting, there's going to be your A-list. Those are the people you really, really want. So you're going to do something extra for them. But everybody in your list should get your email newsletters. Everybody on your current team and everybody in your prospect list. Yeah, absolutely agree, Julie. It's just that that broad spectrum, you know, this is useful to everybody who's reading it. And, and you know, again, like you said, being able to forward that on. So making it easy all in one platform. Um, in addition to... The, and the, these, of course, are, are part of the, the Profitable Recruiter program. So those are in addition to the standardized content that exact recruiter comes pre-populated with. So you'll actually have five different recruiting campaigns, specifically for rookies, for seasoned agents, even for struggling agents. So we've actually written those campaigns for you. And every one of these emails is targeting a certain type of agent with a message that is going to resonate with them, right? And a struggling agent, as you said, Julie, I like what you said about agents that are either on the rise or agents that are kind of on the fall. And this would be those agents that are on the fall. It doesn't necessarily mean they're not good at what they're doing, but they're struggling and they need some help. And maybe they just need that little bit of coaching or maybe they need somebody that holds them accountable, right? So you're just helping them pinpoint those problems by building that relationship with messaging that's really specific to what their scenario might actually be. Okay. So it's a ton of content already pre-populated in here, mass email with the uh, monthly email newsletter, the weekly emails with the profitable recruiter, and then these um, campaigns are again monthly. So that, I mean, that's, how many touches is that, Julie? It's a lot. But, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> but that's okay, because these are trivial touches. These are not, these are not hard yeah, touches. for yeah. recruiting. You know, so that that's okay. And and I, I'm gonna 
preemptively answer a question that's already in the mind of probably a lot of recruiters is how hard is this to get my database into? And one of the reasons we chose Exact Recruiter um, is that the support that you guys lend is amazing. Your support team is fantastic. Um, and they they have a concierge service where they're really going to help you do all that for you. So that's that's one of a stopping point for a lot of a lot of recruiters is one building that list. OK, I, I don't know. But, and two is how am I going to take that list and put it into something that can be systemized? Um, and you you're doing an amazing yeah. job with that. So right. kudos to you. Yeah. And then in addition to those soft touches, those automated touches with the newsletters and the weekly emails, um, we have what we call the keep in touch coach. And the keep in touch coach helps you with those more personalized touches, whether you're sending handwritten notes or picking up the phone and actually making those phone calls. Um, the keep in touch coach pops people up onto the top of your dashboard to say, hey, it's time to phone this person. And what it's doing is it's using the status. So hot prospects will show up more often than long-term prospects. Perhaps you also set reminders for your current agents and it resets the reminder for X number of days from the last logged activity. So you actually choose for hot prospects, remind me every week. I wanna phone Allison every week. And so if I log a call with Allison today, then she's gonna show up seven days from today. Awesome. And it's seven days from the logged activity. So if she phones me on Saturday and I log another activity, then the, then the automated reminder is gonna be pushed out another day. So the system just automatically sets those reminders. It's far more intuitive than say a Google recurring calendar reminder that you stick in your calendar on Wednesday. Right. And way the, more intuitive than a note in your notebook. <laughs> way more intuitive than a note in your notebook. Yes. Uh, the challenge with it, with the notes in the notebook is that, you know, you're, you're thinking about, okay, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to make calls for an hour today. I'm going to call recruits for an hour today. Who am I going to call? And then you spend 30 of your 30 minutes of your hour figuring out who you're going to call and you're flipping through your notebook. Ready to get ready. <laughs> yeah, you're ready to get ready to get ready. You're going to need another coffee um, before you can get there. And then you're flipping through your notebook between every call, trying to find the next person to call. Right. And this system just floats those people to the top of your list. You don't have, you don't have to look for them. The system has already found them for you, floats them to the top of the list and says, this is the next one. Just make your phone call and move on. It's right here on your dashboard. Right. Yeah. Well, I love how simple it is, Shannon. I mean, for any broker, uh, basically, again, once the information is loaded, once you're in there and, and you decide what you're going to do, it's going to pretty much on a daily basis just keep guiding you through the people that you should be in touch with. It's very intuitive, like you said, and uh, lots of information. You got to figure out what am I going to write or what am I going to say? Uh, and, um, you know, it's just, it's great. It really does everything that a broker needs in the way of a, a recruiting CRM. And you tell your agents to be accountable, set your own accountability. That's right. You've actually got goal setting that you can create within the system. So you set goals for how many new contacts am I going to add and how many referrals am I going to get from my agents or, or other people in my network? How many phone calls are you going to make? And, and so on. All of those different touches from the actual entering of the contacts to contract signed. You're, they've joined your team. We, we can set goals for those and then see your, your accountability for it right in your dashboard. So it's just don't memorize. systemizing, don't memorize it. Don't try to think about, okay, I'm going to make 50 phone calls today. And then at the end of the day, you're like, how many phone calls did I make? The system will tell you. So just, right. Yeah. Rolls it right up onto your dashboard quickly and easily for you. So, I mean, that's super high level overview. There's, there's so much that the system can do. Um, but I think just in direct connection with Judy, your, your programming and, and getting those things set up. It's getting your contacts all into one place. We do it for you. That's our concierge setup service. Um, and I'll talk more about that in just a second. And it's creating those systematized marketing plans with right. you know, awesome. all of your different email touches. Um, those emails, by the way, can also include video. So you can embed video if you're using BombBomb specifically, you can actually connect your BombBomb account to your exact recruiter account and just pull in your BombBomb videos. Or you can just embed your video right in the email. Doesn't matter what, like whether it's on YouTube or Vimeo or Dropbox or wherever you're hosting your email, and our support team can help you drop those right in. So great ways to just add that personal touch right into the uh, the emails that you're sending from your CRM. 
And uh, I just want to bring up something kind of important here too, is that um, something that uh, that I've noticed with a lot of brokers and uh, when I bring it to their attention, they're, they're kind of surprised, but I think agents are guilty of the same thing, is that sometimes brokers are totally focused on maybe five or 10 people that they really want. And so every week when they start their prospecting, all they're thinking of is I need to reach out to this agent because I really want them. I need to reach out to this one. They've got a, a list of 100 or two or 300 agents and their focus is on 10 or 15. Then that means that the other two or 300 people really aren't getting, you know, uh, like any calls or text or whatever. So, mm. so a real important part of your program is that when it says get in touch with this person today this is your day to call this person that you just do it that you don't try to avoid it or oh she's probably not ready yet um because that's it's just all based on numbers right it's a certain number of contacts that you've got to make and um so that's another thing that i really like for brokers is you don't stay fixated on that small group of people that you want you're really spreading those contacts around on a consistent basis with everyone and that's what's going to give you a much better result yeah, and your keep in touch coaches do. You'll see here you've got Allison who's a long term pro or a hot prospect, and Rich right. who's a hot prospect. But then we've, you know, it's popped David up, who's a long term prospect. Right. So it's not just hyper focused on one type of contact. It exactly. is making sure that you're following up with anybody that needs right. to be followed up with. Yeah, exactly. not just targeting one, that one little niche group. Exactly. Yeah. So let me just flip back to my slides real quick. Because, and Julie, you, you started on this great segue into the setup of the system. And with any system, it happens to agents, it happens to brokers. You sort of think, yeah, I need a system. Oh, man, now I've got to spend the time to set up the system. Um, we make it really easy. So get your contacts wherever they are. We'll figure out the best way with you to get those into the system. If you've got a spreadsheet, fantastic. It's not a CRM. Send it to us. We'll put it in your CRM. <laughs> if you've got contacts in your email contacts or on sticky notes or at wherever, we'll help you get them into the system as quickly and easily as possible. And then we actually set up things like your email header and signature, your monthly e-newsletter. Make sure your, your first campaigns are sending out so that the system is starting to work for you right away. And you've got our unlimited ongoing support. Our support team is fabulous. Real people, real human beings. Yes. And, and we love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it, there's a lot of a lot of uh, tech companies out there that uh, you've kind of got chat support or they send you links to videos and we've got great videos too if, if you're more of a do-it-yourselfer, but you know, there, there's something to be said about being able to phone and say, Shannon showed me in this demo that there was a button and I can't find the button. Where's the button? And have a person just quickly and easily walk you through those steps. So, so yeah, so that's that's all about exact recruiter. Um, what's included in the system, that easy to use CRM interface that just pulls your list, your reminders, your campaigns all into one place. And then Julie, I'm gonna let you talk to what's included in the profitable recruiter program. Wonderful. So our program is basically everything you put into your CRM, the 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 letters, the uh, Monday morning emails that uh, you all all of that plus training and recruiting opportunities as well um, so we're giving that all to you don't have to of course tweak it make it your own but it's it's not that I have to reinvent the wheel every week or every month um, every every the end of every month so next week we'll we'll plop May's content in to the system so every at the end of every month We'll give you all the set and forget content that you need so that you can go in and take that and put it into your CRM. Um, the emails obviously are already in the CRM uh, we put for for Exact Recruiter. Um, but it's really all that content and it is that support as well. The, the okay, what do I do next? So we're gonna send you emails every week with a, um, some training opportunities, some, some tips like that LinkedIn tip. Um, so we're gonna send that kind of that to you and we're here to support you and we're here to help bring your teams together so that all of your, if you've, if you've got a multi-manager situation going on, you can get everybody on one page, everybody rowing the boat in the same direction. Um, so, and, and that's what we do. Now let's sh share with them, we've got some specials for everybody today. Do indeed, and if anybody's got questions, now's your, your time to ask them. I know there's been a few trickling in as we've been chatting. Um, We've got great offers for you today. Um, you get 50% off your Profitable Recruiter membership. So you just go to the ProfitableRecruiter.com and it's the promo code 50 off. Did I enter that right, Julie? You did. Make sure you type it correctly. All one word, 50 off. 50 and off. you also receive 60-day extended free trial of the Exact Recruiter CRM. 
So it's the link, the exact contact.com slash the profitable recruiter, because you've joined us on the webinar today. So if you've got a CRM, great. Is it a recruiting CRM? Ask yourself the questions. Does it do all the things that we've talked about today? If it doesn't, maybe look at the, the exact recruiter CRM as a different option. And if you don't have um, any kind of recruiting um, mentorship and, and coaching, definitely uh, Julie's, Julie's program, or Judy's program is, is amazing. You get Julie it's a, it's a and great Judy. combination platter, for sure. Um, you know, it's something that we've been looking for forever is, is a, a CRM that we can recommend with our whole hearts. Um, George would like you to go back one slide if you could, Shannon, real quick, and sure. then we'll pop yeah. back to people. Um, so it's just a really good combination. It's it's the CRM, so the system, plus the system of content to 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 stay top of mind. But stay top of mind in a way that's not salesy, that's not pushy. Um, people don't want to be sold right now, right? People just really. So you can put it back, um, Shannon. So uh, there are two different systems. But as if you go to that exactcontact.com, the profitable recruiter, you don't have to put in a code for that. That'll automatically give you 60 days as our profitable recruiter members. Um, if you go to the profitable recruiter, we have three levels. You can do monthly, you can do every six months, or you can do annually. And right now we're offering a special where you can get 50% off. So try it for a month, kick the tires for $99 and, and add that. You know, and, and with that, you'll get your 60 days uh, of exact recruiter as well. So that's just, it's, it, it, you have everything to gain and nothing to do you know for for 99 bucks it's a great way to to kick off your may absolutely yeah, absolutely do you have any questions any of our audience have questions crickets crickets just They're trying just to find my q a box there it is yeah please fire your questions at at us about the crm about judy's program any of your recruiting struggles? Is there a follow-up transactions function on the CRM? I believe there is, yes. There's, well, the follow-up on your recruiting actions, not on transactions from your, right. not on listing and selling transactions. No. Uh, who do we contact? That's a, that's a separate system. If, if you're looking for a system to track your transactions, that's exact contact. So slightly different version, same great interface. Exactly. Um, if you, who do we contact if you're interested for the Profitable Recruiter, you can go to theprofitablerecruiter.com and fill out a contact form there, or you can give us a call. You can give me a call, 813-957-2989. If you have questions about Exact Recruiter, you can go to that exactcontact.com slash theprofitablerecruiter, and they have an amazing team there that are happy to answer any of your CRM questions. George is excited to try. Well, we're excited for you, George. <laughs> John, does the standard exact pre-written material stay in there as well when you add the profitable recruiter? Yes, you get both. If you are profitable recruiter and an exact um, recruiter combination platter, then get you get both. everything. You get all of, all of Shannon's templates as well as ours. You're welcome, John. Everybody's so nice and polite today. It's lots of please. <laughs> it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> it's a Friday, Friday afternoon. Feeling good. I, I don't know where everybody else is, but it's finally afternoon. sunny here. So <laughs> it's making a big making it a big day. Wonderful. Okay, cool. And the items I like on the current CRM is that I can see when I recruit has a closing. Um, you know what's cool about that, guys, is that if, if you've got uh, what I would do and what I I talk to brokers all the time about is to not try to do everything yourself. Uh, delegation is a beautiful thing, right? So some of those things I, we don't want you to, to pass on, but if you've got an admin assistant, we're happy to put your admin assistant on the Profitable Recruiter. In fact, you can have up to 10 managers, 10 seats on the Profitable Recruiter at the, for the same price. So right. bring your admin into the into the fold. You know, somebody that, that got a little bit more time and maybe is, is structured in that way. As brokers and recruiters, a lot of you probably have that salesman type mentality. You've got a, that personality, that larger than life, that, that gregarious. Um, sitting down and typing stuff is usually not your strong suit. So the good, that good thing is that all of this is done for you. Sure, you can tweak it and that kind of thing, but bring your admin into the, into the fold so that they can help 
make sure that everything stays on track, right? And then your job is then to, to do that follow-up piece of it, you know, so you know what's going on, you're staying on track, you're getting those broker and uh, recruiting and retention action steps every week, um, you're, you've got your pop-up, your follow-up guide there uh, on in the, the CRM, um, so you're following those steps, but bring somebody in to help you manage maybe some of the cut and paste, help you manage some of the, how do I get everybody in there? Uh, and by doing that, one, you're going to breathe a little easier, right? It makes more sense for you. And you really feel like you've got teamwork, especially if you've got a multi-manager uh, situation. An admin is going to be a godsend for that. Does that make sense, Judy? Yeah, and you know, we, we went over that a little fast, so I just want to kind of restate each membership for the profitable recruiter allows 10 members to participate. They have their own logins, they have their own contacts. That means like a lot of our clients are large companies. They're multi-office firms. They've got eight or 10 different offices. So each manager has their own login. They've got their own database that they're working with. And um, so that is an incredible value. And it's because we work with a lot of the large multi-office firms that, that we wanted to make it easy for a company to, to not just have to have one person doing everything, but to spread it out, like I said, to the admin person, to a manager, to a broker, to a recruiter. Um, so, so definitely like, you know, put up the 10 people on there. It's still the same price we charge you for one membership. We just give you 10 people that, that can access it and use it. And for a smaller brokerage, it's, it's perfect because a lot of smaller brokerages don't have access to right. this, this kind of marketing support, right? So we're doing some of that for you, but we, we certainly would love to have your admins um, on, on the, the system as well, just to make that, make that easier and help you support you. And right. the CRM access can be shared as well. So you don't have to have multiple seats if you've got an admin or you've got two managers in an office and you're simply working together. Um, you don't necessarily have to set up a team of accounts. You can actually just share one right. individual um, CRM account. So, John asked if it's going to be recorded. We are recording this, uh, God willing, and the tech gods, uh, you know, <laughs> are with us. Um, so Shannon is going to, they're going to put this on their Zoom or on their YouTube account, I'm assuming, or in your blog. Um, and we're going to do the same. She's going to share it with us and we're going to put it on our blog. Um, so whether you came to us through Exact Recruiter or whether you came to this through the Profitable Recruiter or some email in between or social media, um, we'll make sure that this gets back out to you in a, in a, in a great way. Um, and so don't worry, you can rewatch it. I know I know a lot of you have managers that you wanted to have on the call with you today too. Plus it's just a great reinforcement. You know, we shared some really good tips. Thank you, Judy, for everything that you shared today. This is a, an important time to build relationships. Um, this is an important time to systemize and not leave things to chance, not leave things to fall through cracks because that can happen so quickly. And so especially in the, the crazy changing world that we live in, um, without a system, things do fall through the cracks. Uh, so yeah. we look forward to any of your questions in the future. We look forward to having you on board uh, with both Exact Contact, Exact Recruiter, and with the Profitable Recruiter. And we thank you for today. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Judy. Kudos as always. Thank, thank you, you both, of course. And I look forward to chatting with anybody that has additional questions after our webinar today. Great. Brian says you're you're the best, Judy. Yeah. Pardon? Brian Cox says you're the best. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, Great. everybody, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Signing Bye. off. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.